Published 5.06 Eastern Standard Time, the 27th of January 2018. Updated, 5.35 Eastern Standard Time, the 27th of January 2018. Kendrick Lamar's Modern Day Masterpiece, Humble, has won Triple J's Hottest 100 Countdown for 2018. The 30-year-old American rapper beat out local rockers Gang of Youths to claim the top spot in the annual listener-voted countdown. The result was announced live on air Saturday, the first time the decade-old countdown has not been broadcast on Australia Day in 20 years. Modern Day Masterpiece, Kendrick Lamar's, Humble, wins Triple J's Hottest 100. After the network decided not to air the event on Australia Day for the first time in 20 years worth his victory, Kendrick becomes the first African-American artist to win the annual poll, and and that's been running since 1989. When I look back on 2017, it's hard to deny that when it came to music, Kendrick Lamar dominated on all fronts, said Triple J's music director Nick Findlay. Firsts, it was a year of firsts, with Kendrick becoming the first African American to ever win the countdown. In what was the first time in 20 years the event was not held on Australia Day, seeing it as the Cements, humble, as a modern-day masterpiece, and shows just how powerful and important Kendrick Lamar is as a songwriter of our generation. Back in November, Triple J ended months of speculation to confirm they would be moving the Hottest 100 from its traditional Australia Day. Despite the date change, the countdown received the largest amount of votes in its 29-year history, with 2,386,133 fans weighing in. Gang of Youths, Let Me Down Easy, came in second, and Angus. Perth band Methiethyl, nabbed fourth with UBU, while Gang of Youths also nabbed the fifth spot with the deepest size, the Frankest Shadows. In November, Triple J said their decision to move the event. Day did not constitute a comment on whether the network believed Australia Day is insensitive to indigenous people. In recent years the hottest 100 has become a symbol in the debate about Australia Day. The Hottest 100 wasn't created as an Australia Day celebration, the network said in a statement. Listeners decided, in November, Triple J said their decision to move the event date did not constitute a comment on whether the network believed Australia Day is insensitive to indigenous people, instead citing a majority of the listeners supporting the change. It was created to celebrate your favorite songs of the past year. It should be an event that can enjoy together. We've learnt all the way through that this is a complex issue and there have been a lot of different perspectives on what Triple J should do. The government-owned broadcaster cited a survey. They ran among listeners as a key reason in changing the date to the 27th. We learnt that the majority of you, 60%, were in favour of moving the hottest 100 to a different date, they announced in November. A lot of different perspective, we've learnt all the way through that this is a complex issue and there have been a lot of different perspectives on what Triple J should do, they said.